Well, our area is no stranger to severe weather and especially severe wind. We're talking about wind exceeding 60 miles per hour. This map shows the frequency of severe wind events and you can see a very dark color pretty much right on top of the Western Carolinas and Northeast Georgia like a bullseye. Uh, that means that we get six to seven and sometimes even more than that when it comes to severe wind days each year and that is one of the top in the entire country. Now one of the culprits for this microbursts. Uh, microbursts develop with thunderstorms a lot of times in the summer. So as the thunderstorm gets going, dry air gets entrained in the middle of the storm. Now, why would that make a big difference? Well, what happens is as the precipitation falls, it will evaporate in that dry air and that's a cooling process. That cool air is denser, so it rushes downward and causes the storm to collapse with not only heavy rain, but some very strong wind. So that wind comes down, fans out across the surface and can cause quite a bit of damage in a localized area. So we watch for damage trees that are pushed outward where the damage is damage basically fans out from the center um, and that's often how we identify whether a microburst has happened in a tornado situation you look for a path of damage but in this case you look for those trees uh, the debris to be fanned out from the center of where the those winds collapsed winds can go up to 150 miles per hour typically in the summertime we can see these easily get up to at least 70 to 80 miles per hour or even higher so can cause a lot of damage just as much as a tornado.